you notice that the level has reached the mark that we had made before. That means I had brought, have brought this back to the original level. No more need, uh, no need to boil it more. So let us turn the vacuum off and carefully remove the flask first. Keep it aside for cooling for the crystals to form. Then you can turn the steam off. If you want, you can disconnect the vacuum. You, know, you have to do that later anyway. So now we are ready to see the crystals form. So what happens to this solution when I leave it aside for cooling? After a little while, voila! This is what it will look like. You have your beautiful recrystallized triphenyl methane in this Erlenmeyer flask. Notice the shape of the crystals. Also, please note down the color of the crystals. At this point, when the crystal formation has begun, maybe it is complete, I am not sure. But to ensure that the crystal formation is complete, we are going to further cool this in an ice bath. Let's place it in an ice bath, cool it for several minutes. While that is happening, we want to set up filtration for those crystals. We want to collect the crystals, right? That is the idea, purifying impure triphenylmethane to get pure triphenylmethane. Now, you notice we did hot filtration when we wanted the filtrate and also when we did not want premature recrystallization. And when you want to collect a solid, and not the filtrate, you want to use what is called suction filtration. What does suction filtration involve? It involves a filter flask. What is a filter flask? Filter flask looks like an Erlenmeyer flask, but it has a side arm. As the phrase suction filtration implies, we will be applying suction. That is the reason why there is side arm. How do we apply suction? Just like we applied suction for hot filtration using the vacuum connection. So we will do that. But first you want to make sure that you clamp your filter flask to the bars here or the ring stand, whichever is convenient. So clamp the filter flask firmly so it does not roll over while you are doing the filtration. Obviously, when you want to collect some solid, you want a filter paper or funnel, something on which your solid will stay. Now, for suction filtration purposes, we use what is called a Buchner funnel. This is a porcelain funnel. You notice that there are holes inside this funnel. So, it pulls the solution through the holes. Why won't it pull the solid through the hole? Of course it will pull the solid through the hole as well unless we put a filter paper on top. So you want to add a filter paper or place a filter paper on the Buchner funnel. Now the filter paper that you are going to place in the Buchner funnel should just fit perfectly like that. That's all. You should not be folding it. It should not be smaller than the diameter of the funnel, but it should go in nicely and just sit like that. Then you put this Buchner funnel onto the filter flask. What else did I have between the Buchner funnel and the filter flask? I have what is called a filter adapter. It is a rubber adapter like a valve. So when you apply suction, there is no air leaking. So put the filter adapter, place the Buchner funnel and then to make it stay in one place nicely, you want to add a few drops of a solvent to, so that the paper sticks in the Buchner funnel. Which solvent should I add? You should add the same solvent that is in your solid liquid mixture here. Take a little bit of that solvent and add a few drops of it 
onto the filter paper and make sure that the filter paper stays in place. Notice after the addition of these drops that the paper is sticking to the funnel. So place the funnel back. Now we can connect our vacuum pump or the house line actually. Turn on the vacuum slowly. until you hear this hissing noise.